time. Oh, come on, have I got a target on me this morning or what? Oh, don't mind me. Have you seen Maya? What? Mayor, is he in yet? I think you'll find it's Mr. Mayor. I don't bother, I'll find him myself. Already have, Dr. Merrick. I take it you'd like a word. Yes, yeah, several. Please join me in the scrub room in five minutes. Call me old-fashioned. I prefer any blood on these walls to come from our patients. Ooh. Ooh. Nice hair. I like oh, it. thanks. Very nice one. You reckon that was about then? Yeah. Whatever she's taking, I want some. It's a rough night. It's a rough morning. I've come in early to do this lot, and the pile just never seems to go down. Well, that would be the joys of acting up, Jules. Oh, thank you for the sympathy. In which case, you won't mind taking this one. This one for you, anyway. Michelle Cash, Abdul Pins, Quaver Sauce. A and E are backed up, so Mr. Barrett said we'd take a pound in results. Well, she's not exactly a bad little laughs either. Okay. Mrs. Cash, uh, Jasmine Hopkins. I'm going to be looking after you. It's Miss. Tomorrow wouldn't hurt. Don't start, Niall. I'm not asking for myself. All I'm saying is, whatever Dr. Taylor has to tell us, we have to put a brave face on for Siobhan. Nice one, Dad. Maybe we won't have to. I always anticipate the worst. Someone has to. Come on. You submitted an application to remain on my firm. That application, it seems, has been refused. Only it's not that clear cut. There's also where I'm being sent. You're not being sent anywhere. Otto Ward has always been part of your rotation. It's understandable that the Dean should seek to make maximum use of resources. And that's all I am? That's all any of us are. But you said you'd support my application. And how do you know I didn't? Oh, yeah, like they wouldn't listen to the clinical chairman. Dr. Merrick, your tenure with my firm is over. You've been offered an alternative position within this hospital. Accept, learn, and move on. Or you could try elsewhere. Leave Holby? If you consider this such a detrimental move. However, if you're serious about your career, perhaps you should look beyond that. Can you describe the pain? Painful. Is it sharp? Like a burning sensation? It's more like cramps, only worse. How's everything at home? At work, is everything all right? <sighs> Meaning, is this stress related? No, it's not. I can cope with my job. Lucky you. Have you been to see your GP about these pains? <sighs> well, take time off to sit in a drafty waiting room. Might as well the rest of us have to do. Look, if this was down to my working hard, I'd say. And if all you're going to do is pack me off with some pills... No, I'm not going to pack you off with pills. I'm going to try and find an answer. <sighs> I can give you that. Sorry? Look, Miss Cash, if you seem to know where these pains are coming from, it'd help if you actually told us. You said you don't like wasting time. Neither do I. It's the same as Mum went through. Which was what? Cancer of the ovary. She's been dead three years now. Well, just let me put this down a sec, will you? Right. No, I can't make that out. You're not giving me a lot to go on. Victoria, you're not expecting any flowers today. Take that as a no. I try downstairs if I were you, Tom. Have we got a real history? Yeah, uh, Mum died in 97. And apparently there was an aunt in Scotland who had the same condition. Mm, good to see you. <laughs> Danny. Hi, Jazz. Um, you don't know what's up with Victoria today, do you? No, why? Well, it looks like she's done all well. No, sorry. Danny, can you give us a hand with this dressing? Sure, yeah. And apart from this, there's no evidence Ms Cash's problem is a malignancy? No. But to be honest, I think she's worked herself up into a complete panic. I mean, if she was that convinced, she'd have gone for a check-up early, wouldn't she? Well, maybe she's scared she's going to be proved right. OK, let's get Tash to have a look at her. If we draw a blank, it's down to Guiney. OK, I'll see how the fix. Oh, and Jasmine, could I ask you to spread the word for me, please, about Dr Merrick? Save a few of the wilder rumours flying around. How do you mean? Victoria has not done a runner. She has been transferred. 
Berta? That was just a warning shot. Sorry? Next time I'll be in unless you get that off sharpish. Your white coat, it's forbidden down here. All right, Daryl, Daryl, that's enough. Off you. Go on. You must be Victoria Merrick. And you are? Steve Waring, charge nurse at your service. Coat, come on. Come on. Thank you. Is there anyone around here that I can actually get some sense out of? Dr. Janice Taylor, paediatric consultant. She's around. Try down there. Thanks. It says in the brochure there's everything there. Swimming, riding. Sounds real dead. Well, you might not be strong enough for us to go straight away, love. Rubbish. The minute Siobhan's had the op, she'll be raring to go. Is that right? Well, she will need some time, Mr Duggan. I don't mind when we go, Dad. I can look forward to it. Of course, love. Mum's right. Where are you off to? Nowhere. We've come to see your sister, or is that too much trouble? Let him go, Dad. I don't need to see his ugly face. Not something? Yeah. You haven't seen a box, have you? No. What was in it? Don't worry. It kind of gone far on its own. There you go. <sighs> what are these tests? It's nothing too alarming. Um, we'll give you an examination, then we'll take you down for an x-ray and an ultrasound. And what'll that show? Well, hopefully it should show what's causing the stomach cramps. Could just be kidney stones. Oh, you think? Well, we'll wait and see, eh? There could be a really simple explanation for it, you know. Oh, I get it. You think I'm overreacting, thinking it's cancer? No, I just think maybe you should cross one bridge at a time. You know, not assume. I'm assuming nothing. I'm Jewish, Caucasian and childless, the three groups most at risk. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. Miss Cash. I'm Miss Bandara. Uh, my colleague, Mr Barrett, has asked me to see you. I hear you're experiencing abdominal pains. Um, as soon as you're comfortable, I'd like to take a look, please, yeah? Do you want me to get the notes? Yeah, yeah. You better get yourself back in there quick before she decides she's got some miles wrong with her. You've met Steve Wearing? Yes, Dr Taylor. Good. If there's anything you're not sure of, he's the one to ask. Oh, you seem more interested in playing with the wall than anything else. Pium, 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 Here's my advice, Dr Merrick. Paediatrics will seem a totally new world. Just give yourself time. I've dealt with children before. Then you'll recognise one when you see one. Do feel free to tie yourself to my apron strings. With respect, Dr. Taylor, I'm not still in nappies. I have spent time in cardiothoracics. I'm privileged. Shall we? Hold up. We're not doing here. This is a kids' ball. This is Adrian Kirkwall, 15. Fell out of a window. CT was clear. Uh, head from sawdust, so no surprise there. Oh, yeah. Orthopods are satisfied nothing's broken, but they'd like us to keep him on obs till the rest of it. Looks like he'll be spending a bit of time with us, Adrian. <coughs> no one calls me that. It's Hyde. <coughs> Has anyone been contacted? Well, Adrian gave us a number and we've left a message on the answer phone, so with a bit of luck, Mummy should be here soon. This is Siobhan. She's nine and she's suffering from alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. The night sister said you'd been uncomfortable, Siobhan. Just felt sick. Why not tell a sweetheart? She doesn't want you worrying. If we can't love, who can? Well, if you feel sick again, call for a nurse, OK? If nothing else, it'll keep the lovely Steve on his toes. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Duggan, would you like to come through? Daddy won't be long. Come on, as soon as we get in there. Okay? <sighs> What's her problem? You know how long you got. Okie doke, ready for the guided tour? <clears throat> By the way, I think you should do something about your hair. Why? Well, you're in head lice territory now. Get a crop and you can pick the eggs off before they hatch. That's disgusting. Dr. Merrick. Yeah. 
okay? Yeah. I suppose. I shouldn't let Dad get to you. Easy for you. You're in here. It's what for you. Way goes on. Telling us what to think. Like he cares. You're not gonna go soft on me. Besides, I need you looking out for Mum. Yeah. Siobhan seems better. I'm afraid with children, Elaine, it's always very tempting to see what we want. Siobhan's a very weak little girl. This bout of gastroenteritis means we must make some decisions concerning her future care. A transplant. Both the liver and transplant coordination teams are now convinced finding a donor is Siobhan's only hope. And have they? As yet, there's no suitable cadaveric donor, and while that's still their preferred option, they are now prepared to consider a live donor. Which brings me to your tests. Normally, I'd hope to be at this stage sooner, but I've held off until I had results for all the family. Well, my husband was away working. There was no way round it. Elaine, I'm afraid your cells are incompatible with Siobhan. We can't consider you as a donor. But there's much better news with Mr. Duggan. What? The first test you took assessed your liver's compatibility with Siobhan's and the results suggest her body would accept a donated lobe from you. <laughs> Thank God. When? I mean, how soon can we get it done? Mr. Duggan, all we're doing at the moment is exploring a possibility. Using you as a donor would only happen if no other option were available. There's no need to rush. My kid's laying out there, fed through a tube in her neck. I'd say that's excellent reason to rush. Your daughter's condition is being managed. She's suffering. And I'm her dad. It's my job to protect her. I do understand, believe me. But we're still waiting for your second set of results, your liver function tests. We should have them very soon, and providing they're OK, the coordinator will then discuss with you the risks you'd be taking. Dr Taylor, you're not listening. I don't give a toss about risks. Let's just get it done. Here we go. Maybe you'll stop moaning now. Company your own age. I'll go and sit with her for you, Mum. <laughs> Treat like a kid, innit? What's all you in for? Nothing. My little sister is. I mean, I fell out of a window. At least that's my story. Truth is, I was pushed good as. It's being chased, missed me foot. But he's sweating now, waiting for the old built shot. Uh, I'm supposed to be impressed. Please yourself. We shouldn't have too long to wait for these results, Mr. Duncan. But I'm here. Well, good news, Liam. If all else fails, Dad could be the donor. Your sister's not out of the woods yet, but. But what? Dad gets the chance to play hero. Great. Saying kills for him to go on about. Liam. Nice kid. Excuse me. So what's this job you do then? Must be good if you work all hours. Web design. It's a consultancy. Hmm. What? My ex, Carl. He was into IT. It was his thing. Wasn't a high flyer, though. Is that why he's your ex? OK, Michelle, I'm about done. Now, look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you in for an ultrasound, and then let's get the gynaecology team to have a look at you. I thought we were going to uh, hang on until we got all the tests back and stuff. No, I, I, I think we should push ahead. Put Michelle's mind at ease, yeah? This ultrasound, what does it involve? Well, they'll talk you through it, but um, essentially, they'll get a picture of your ovaries. Don't worry about it. You don't have to take it home with you. Are you sure you don't want us to contact anyone for you? There's only Dad. I don't want to put him through it again. Boyfriend, then? He knows I'm here. He'll come if he gets the chance. Oh, no, not on the workaholic. <laughs> He's worse than me. Gareth owns the consultancy. Really? Handy. <laughs> Never known her sleep so much. You've not seen my wife? She, uh, went after Liam. It's all right, you don't have to say. You seemed a bit upset. Liam's a good boy, really. All he's going through is the same any kid his age. 